So let's let's have the first thing you want to put in the box, the first thing that means the world to you. Okay. I've actually currently lost it, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. uh, and I it's in my it's in my home somewhere, and I haven't done a deep dive because I'm worried I've. I'm worried it has gone, oh, right. or that my um, incredibly efficient, uh, or almost military junta cleaning lady may have decided she makes a lot of decisions about my life, my cleaning lady, right. and she may have decided that I should no longer have that in my life, okay. and I'm worried it's gone. I've told you about the paella pan, right? Oh, you haven't told me about the paella pan. Strap yourself in. Okay. <laughs> my clean. <laughs> My cleaning lady, she's awesome. She's um, Romanian. She doesn't speak. She barely speaks a word of English. But we have a, I think, a genuine friendship. It's it's one of physical sign language. Right. But I really think we get on. Yes. <laughs> but she sometimes makes hard decisions about my life yeah. without consulting me. Right. I went to Spain a few years ago. Mm. And I had some paella. And then obviously I indulged in some fanciful idea that I was going to cook paella for my friends. Right. As if I have my friends around the house. Yeah. Never mind cook paella. Yeah, which is a big dish. To Madness. Cook. Yeah. Oh, so I bought a paella dish. Yeah. And I mean, can we swear on this? Yeah, because you can. It's fucking massive. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Yeah. L- like a satellite dish. Yeah. And, and I managed just about to get it into the big drawer. <laughs> but <laughs> but it, 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 how, do, how do you get it back from Spain? Oh, I bought it in England. Oh, phew, right. Yeah, yeah. I came back. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. I came back. This country's with, great. I came back with wild ide- yeah. ideas of Spanish cookery. I don't even like Spanish food. I don't even like paella. <laughs> I just like the idea of Be- the fanciful notion of friends sitting around a table and me presenting a big thing with prawns and bubbling rice and everyone Oof. going, oh, God, Greg's, you know, he's yeah. not just a one dimensional comic. He's no, this, please. He's got this whole hinterland of Spanish yeah, he's cookery. He's the Pied Piper of paella. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> The, tra- the travel B. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. So anyway, she... so I bought this um, giant pan. Yeah. I had to empty the big drawer to get it in and then put stuff back on it, right? Anyway, obviously months, maybe even years passed, maybe two years passed. Yeah. And then I was having some mates round. And normally when my mates come down round, we just get drunk like we're teenagers. And I thought, I'm going to make a paella. I'm gonna... right, so I went to the big drawer. It's gone. Yeah. Right? And and for it to have gone, loads of pans would have had to have been removed. Yeah. And the pile of dish removed. And there's nowhere else for it to go in the flat. So I have a, a quick look round. Nothing. Anyway, my cleaning lady comes back in. I don't think she'd mind me saying this. Her name's Chi Chi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she comes in on on the allotted day. And um, I go, all right, Chi Chi. She goes, yeah. Fuck it out. Well, no, she doesn't speak English. She doesn't so, speak right. we, we just make noises at each other. Yeah, yeah. That's not me no, insulting no. the Romanian. No, 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 but yeah. She went, all right. Yeah. And I went, I went, you, are you all right? And she went, yeah. And I, I went, you haven't seen my, um, you haven't seen my uh, pie, paella pan, have you? And she went, eh? <laughs> uh, and so I went to the big drawer and I opened it. And I pointed and I mimed the big pile of pan. Yeah. And she suddenly realised and she went, ah, yeah. And I went, oh, where, where is it? And she pointed at my bin and she went, you love it. <laughs> and I went, you, you threw it away? And she went, yeah. <laughs> and I love her so much. You know, I get on so well with her and, and she does such a beautiful job for me. Yeah. I just went, okay. Yeah. And that was it. End of my... End of my paella cooking career. But... I still don't know why she threw it away. It was brand new. Is it because she wanted you to focus on the dreams you're capable of? You'd have to ask her. Yeah. In Romania. Yeah, exactly. I'll have her on. Chi Chi. <laughs> yes. Um, why do you do I it? I absolutely yeah. love her. Yeah, she's got... I've got my... Um... I tried to help her lifting something recently. Yeah. She was lifting something, I can't remember what, but it was heavy, and I thought, yeah. I'll help. And I, I reached down to help her. It's probably a slow cooker into a fucking skin. It, it, it was getting chopped away, whatever it <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. I was going to say. I went down to reach like this, and her hand grabbed my hand to stop me from helping. Ooh. And I looked down at her, and she she led in close, and she went, Chi-Chi's strong. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm making it up? I'm not making it up. <laughs> <laughs> It's I, it's too perfect. It's, it's it's the hand on the wrist on my life. <laughs> on my life. 
Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. What a glorious start to the And morning. I'll tell you this. And that isn't even if, the first thing. If, is if, Chi-Chi going in the box? No. Because she'd climb oh, she out. She should do that. She'd climb out she, like... Yeah, she's strong. <laughs> yeah, like Bane from <laughs> Batman. <laughs> I'll tell your listeners now, if you're, if you're planning to see my next stand-up show, you know, Chi-Chi's going to feature. Oh, so. lovely. So, uh, you know, don't come. Oh, do go. It'll be fantastic. Chi-Chi's opening. What's the first thing you put in the Oh, uh, the thing I think that might have been cheated, as it's known in my household, yeah. it is um, a brass fish. Um, it's grotesque, actually. Yeah. It's a fist size. And it's got a big, gaping mouth. And it's um, um, an ashtray yeah. that my Welsh grandmother used to have um, on the side of uh, her um, fireplace, hidden. So you, if you looked for it, you would see the lips of the fish <laughs> poking out from the side of the thing. Yeah, and it was because she was a God fearing woman, <laughs> and uh, she she mistakenly believed that everyone, including the local um, minister, um, didn't think she smoked. Right? Right. Of course, everyone knew she smoked because yeah. she stank. Yeah. Of smoke and uh, her house stank. Her house was tiny. I'm going to sneeze, Russ. There you go. And her house stank of smoke. And the sort of protocol was if anyone knocked on the door, there would be pandemonium in the front room when we were kids. And she would be, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Powerful, isn't it? It was. Lovely shake. Um, yeah, she would just run that was around. Like Der- she- that was like Derek Akora. <laughs> like, it was, wasn't it? It was the way he sort of, he sensed it. It wasn't like, there was a good 10 seconds, you knew what was going on. Yeah. And you found the spirit. Maybe it was the spirit of my grandmother. Yeah, it could have been. Not wanting me to tell the world that she smoked. In fact, that For a whole life. That sneeze smells like nicotine. <laughs> She's in the room. Her and Chi Chi are in the room. So, so she had this kind of fish. Yeah, so she had this this fish that she would ram the cigarette into that she was smoking for fear. It was mainly the local minister from the chapel. Yeah. Um, and I just have such vivid memories. Uh, I, mean, I loved her, you know. She yeah. was a hilarious woman. And um, I, I have such memories of the frantic pantomime yeah. of, of stubbing her fag out. In it. And it was badly designed for stubbing out because the fish lips aren't wide enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she burnt her fingers every time and then she'd get her apron off and be like like cowboy lassoing it around her head to try and move the smoke around the room. It was yeah. just this wonderful pantomime. Surely yeah. get like a porcelain hippo. Or something that's got like a gaping mouth. Yeah, something that, but like, that's got a bit of girth. Yeah. Yeah. And when you, how old are you here? Seven, eight? What oh, yeah, throughout, I mean, throughout my childhood. From my earliest memory is of being around that house and seeing the fish utilised in that panic-stricken way. And did you... And everyone knew she smoked. Yeah, yeah. In the village. Everyone <laughs> knew who she was because she used to, she used to be the, ner- the nurse for the area. She right. used to... I've got so many stories about her, Russ. We could do the whole thing on this. Honestly. You are, it's wonderful. Let it go. She used to be um, the woman who laid out corpses in the village. Uh, yeah. She's the woman that you called if someone, if your husband had died in New Broughton in, near Wrexham in North Wales. Yeah. Now made famous by Ryan Reynolds, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if someone had died, Auntie Edie, that's what she was known as, was a, a nurse, yeah. trained nurse. She would come round and plug up the corpses. Plug up. It's called laying out. But they call it plugging up. No, I made that up. Oh, it's, called, <laughs> it's called laying out. Right. But yeah, yeah. What laying out is is cleaning the corpse and then plugging up all the orifices so there's no, wow. you know, no spillage before they get popped in the coffin. Jesus, let, let's get quite personal. Do you think she ever popped a cigarette up a, a mouth or a? Ear? I think she was very respectful of the okay, dead. Right. Fine, fine. 